Now, as we explained, gold has failed to shine this year. The yellow metal price has fallen 15% to the lowest level in six years. But Leeling Tan explains that gold may actually be a better bet than you might think. More than ever these days, investors will tell you that all that glitters is not gold. Commodity experts are blaming a dramatic gold slump on a number of factors. From the stronger U.S. dollar to the weakness in commodities, from lower than expected Chinese central bank gold purchases to the looming interest rate hikes in the U.S. Everything from the Standard Bank to the multinational bank to the biggest banks in the world, the central banks are all undercapitalized. The stock markets you know, seem highly priced and it's very thin trading in equities at very high prices and there's also too much debt in the global economy. Some market analysts say the sell-off in gold is good for some investors desperate for liquidity because gold historically serves as both a commodity and a currency. The real question should be why isn't gold down more? Why has gold been holding up better, much better than other commodities? And the reason is, is that gold is regarded as a currency, at least not just a pure commodity. But a report from investment bank Macquarie Group says gold now has little appeal as either a commodity or an alternative to currencies, a conclusion that other analysts say might be a bit short-sighted for a currency that has been around much longer than the dollar has. If you are investing money for the medium to long run and you don't need this money, and you're not going to kick yourself because gold might be cheaper a week from now or a month from now, this is a good time to be buying. The implications for gold on the upside are totally dramatic, much higher than anyone can imagine. That's not to say it won't go lower over the next three months, but if your perspective is three to five, ten years, you must own gold. It should be an anchor in your portfolio. China could play a role in gold's comeback. China's gold reserve stands at 1.7% of its total foreign exchange reserves. And one research firm says China could buy up more gold to meet the target set by the IMF to qualify the yuan as a reserve currency. If and when that happens, the price of gold could double. Li Lingtan, CCTV, New York.